Hello, I'm going to show you how I clean the uh, H&K VP9 with the ultrasonic cleaner. Okay, in my uh, gun wash tub, I've got a mixture of 25% WD-40, 75% odorless mineral spirits. I buy that by the gallon. Now this has been recycled, even though it looks like it's brand new. You can watch my video and see how I do that but I recycle it and I use it over and over and over again. So this literally cleaned dozens and dozens and dozens of guns. And I keep about a half gallon solution of this all the time in my recycling container. So I want to bring my uh, my level of solution. And Now this tub you can use uh, water-based cleaners too. Um, I use the Mineral Spirits and the WD-40. And What's nice about it, it leaves a fine film of petroleum in all these little intricate working parts. Now this gun has about maybe 225 rounds put through it. It is pretty dirty. And I'm going to go ahead and place everything in my wash tub, but you want to make sure in your ultrasonic cleaner, and this is from Harbor Freight. You can get these. They're relatively inexpensive. And this is the 2.5 liter ultrasonic cleaner by Central Machinery. And I think I paid $75, $80 for this at Harbor Freight. But all my guns get cleaned in the ultrasonic cleaner because I, I go through so many uh, cleanings a week, on an average eight guns a week. So what I'm going to do is I've broken the gun down, basic field strip. And nothing else needs to be taken. Back strap does not need to be taken off. Front sights do not, rear sights, nothing else needs to be taken down. Just your basic field strip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by placing my gun frame in. Now this tub is a polycarbonate tub. It's available at fixvictory.com. It doesn't look like it'll fit in here, but it will. You want to make sure your water level comes up to close to the minimum mark. With the tub in there, you want to make sure it at least comes up to the minimum mark. And that required that much water out of a 16.9 ounce bottle of water. So I'm going to go ahead and place my gun frame in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my magazine well brush and I'm just going to lightly hit a little bit of powder down in the magazine well. Not much, but I want to do that before I put it into the ultrasonic cleaner. Okay, now that that's done, my solution level only comes up to just a little bit past the base of the trigger here. You don't need to come up any further than that. All your working components are right up with about one inch all the way along the gun frame. So I'm going to set that in there. I'm going to then place my slide in and my guide rod and my recoil spring is going to go in. Okay, so now I'm going to take it and place it into the ultrasonic cleaner. I set it for 480 seconds and I'll see you back in 480 seconds. Okay, we're just finishing up on our 480 seconds. Okay, she's done. Let's pull the tub out. Take a look at it. You can see how dirty that solution is. So you're really not actually cleaning. The, uh, you're, all you're going to do is dry all the parts off. The ultrasonic cleaner does all the cleaning for you. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out the gun frame. Let that drip for a minute. Set that up against the ultrasonic cleaner for a minute. Let that drip. I'm going to pull out my slide. Now on your slide, if you want, you can take and run your toothbrush if there's any anything stubborn left on there. And there there is nothing. So I don't even need to do that. But you can if you want. You can take that toothbrush and you can run up and down through here. But that's spotless. And then my guide rod and my recoil spring. Set that down. Okay, at this point it's just drying everything off. But I wanted to show you what that looks like. 
that's what's in all in those little springs and all those little mechanisms inside that frame you manually it's impossible to clean all that out you just can't do it so what I'm going to do at this point is set this aside I'm going to I'll be back uh, you're not going to notice a difference but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these parts out in the garage I'm going to use my air compressor now you can use canned air to blow everything out but that gets expensive after a while so I use my air compressor in the garage so I'll see you back as soon as I blow all these parts out and then we'll finish hand wiping everything down. Okay, now that I've blown everything out, the gun is, there's no bleed anywhere, it's completely bone dry, but there's a, just a, a mild film of petroleum in all these intricate parts. And on the, uh, the magazine well, I wanted to show you, if you take a half sheet of paper towel. Now I use the Viva paper towels. They work great. Actually I use the Viva paper towels for cleaning my barrels now too. But if you just take your magazine well brush and just roll a half sheet up and that is perfect for this gun to stick up through the magazine well and then dry that out real good. And you might get a little bit of powder that was down in here because remember I, I brushed it with the magazine well brush but remember your solution level you're only up to here so your side straps your back strap doesn't need to come off there's no bleed coming out of there so your your level of your solution is right at the base of the trigger here but you might get a little bit of little bit of gunpowder out of there but no not really it's pretty much spotless so the the gun is just completely spotless there is nothing in this gun frame absolutely nothing if I take and run my fingers in there or even take a piece of cotton and run it anywhere there's absolutely nothing the gun is bone dry and it's in, just beautiful the slide itself if you take a look at the slide get a close look at that it's like factory brand new and this is how I clean all my guns your guide rod and your recoil spring, even if you rub anywhere, even take a paper towel and rub on there, anywhere, you're going to see absolutely nothing. So the gun is completely spotless. And there's no mess, your hands are clean. The gun is perfectly spotless, your hands are clean. Um, now as far as the barrel goes, normally I put the barrel in my ultrasonic cleaner with the solution, but I did a video earlier on how to clean the uh, the barrel on the VP9. You can look at that video on, my, on the uh, YouTube channel. And I use the uh, Wonder Gun Rod. And this is for the 9mm. This is a 5 inch gun rod. And what's neat about that is you can use 1 inch patches up to a quarter inch is all you need to clean a 9mm 38 or 357. Now these are actually Viva paper towels cut. So the, the cost savings is phenomenal between using your mineral spirits and I use that same exact solution to scrub down the barrel with my uh, my bore brush. Scrub that down. This is a polygonal barrel so it's very easy to clean. Scrub that down four or five times run really three patches through and that barrel is absolutely spotless. So at this point all you're going to do is you're going to put the gun back together just make sure you oil all your all your uh, points anywhere you have uh, slide against slide you want to make sure all those parts are oiled when you put the gun back together and that's it but you've got a perfectly like factory new gun so check out my other videos and all the all the different guns that I've done and use the ultrasonic cleaner also you can look at my video you see how dirty this is I recycle this and this will be like brand new when I when I recycle it and I use it over and over and over again. But this whole process, you can see everything is very clean. Your, your hands stay clean. The whole process and the gun is like factory brand new. I want to thank you for watching and have a great day.